Hey guys, this is James from Squeak Gaming, and this is going to be the first uh, Skyrim Creation Kit tutorial. So let's just jump right in. Uh, once you've um, installed it, it'll be here in Tools. Just double click on it, and it'll open up. Similar to this, I've resized all these windows to my own uh, preference. You don't. You can size them whatever you want, but I would recommend having the render window fairly large and also having this object window with a lot of space here for the, the names of everything. Um, so the first thing you want to do is go File Data and double click on this Skyrim.esm. There will be Update ESM and the high res Texture Pack files in there as well and any other mods you have. This squid tomb is just me uh, testing out the construction kit, uh, creation kit, um, sorry, uh, just early this morning. So yeah, just only have the ESM selected. Unless you're opening an old file, then you would select this and go set as active file. But I don't want to do that. So now it will load. We'll have it down at the bottom here. And the time it takes to load uh, varies on depending on your computer and if you've loaded it sort of that day or not. This is loading a lot faster than it did the first time for me. So, <coughs> um, yeah, just wait for that. Okay, loading files, initializing everything. Just click yes to all for that if you get any errors. Um, that just means one of the test um, cells or something isn't working properly, but that's okay because it doesn't matter. Um, keep waiting, and here we go. So, basically this tutorial will just be covering the sort of basic how to make a broom so like we're going to make a small nordic ruin and over the next few episodes i'll show you how to put everything in that traps droga um you know all that stuff and then finally an exit to uh, the outside world so you can actually go into it um so to do that the easiest way to do that is to grab an existing cell, right click and duplicate it, then uh, click edit, and firstly what I do is change the name here in interior data to what you want it to actually be called in game. So I'll just call this um, Nord Ruin because that's super creative. Um, and then down here it'll change. And also you want to press F2 or just like double click and whatever and change that name. And you want to change this to something you can remember. I'll change it to the same thing. Uh, no spaces can be in that and it'll move if it doesn't start with A. I'm going to go find it. I had it for a second there. And double click on it. Now since we duplicated that cell, it will have all the stuff that was in it. So in this uh, Nord Ruin Objects window, just select all and delete them. So it's empty. It says they're still in there, but they're actually not. And now this is an empty cell and yeah so now you have your Nord Ruin cell you can put your stuff into it so the first thing you want to do is make the like room so the walls the floor and the roof just make that nice and simple so you want to go world objects static dungeons and then Nordic for the Nordic Ruins, there's all the other stuff as well. 
and even the inside of Azura's star, which is pretty cool. Um, and we'll start with small runes, so SM runes. Um, make that a bit bigger so you can read the full name. The other information doesn't really matter, right, for this purpose. <coughs> um, you want to grab, <coughs> sorry, uh, you want to grab a uh, nor RM SM wall front 01, which means Nordic room, small, and it's a wall, and it's in the front orientation, and dro drop it in there. And basically, how um, the Skyrim creation kit works, and this is a new feature, is that the the uh, world, like the artists at Bethesda, made all of the different objects for making the rooms like interlocking, so they connect and the textures fill out. So it makes it much, much easier to make rooms without having to make whole new segments in a 3D modeling program and import them in, which is very annoying to do. And this applies for caves as well. It's slightly more complicated, but um, it's still moderately easy to make a nice looking room without needing to model new things. So you want to right click on your render window, go to render window properties, move to movement, uh, click snap to grid and snap to angle, select both of those and select to 128 and 45. So now um, when you move it, it'll be jerky instead of smooth, which means you can make it um, lock in with the other ones. So an example would be if we now get a corner piece and drag it in there. Um, you just click to drag around, uh, hold down space to pan, hold down shift to rotate around the object you have selected. Um, if you have nothing selected, it'll rotate around the origin of the entire thing, which can be quite uh, annoying, so you normally want to rotate around an object. And also holding down uh, Z will allow you to move this up and down along the Z axis, and holding, let's imagine Y will make it only move in the Y, and X will only move in the X. And holding down right click on something will allow you to rotate it like I just did. And this isn't oops, not X, Z. And there we go. Now you'll see how well this fits together. There's no no seam. The textures fit perfectly. So in game, you won't be able to notice that it's made out of multiple pieces, and it will look much more natural, which is very good. Because in the previous uh, construction set in Oblivion and Morrowind, it was quite difficult to get that. But now they've made it nice and easy, without taking away um, creativity. So it's still just as easy to make stuff. Now we just want to grab. In the object window, a where is it? A wall side instead of a wall front because they are different. You can experiment with all the different objects. You don't just have to use the boring basic ones. But this is just for a beginner tutorial. And once again, you see it just fits perfectly in there. Um, and then you want to right click on the corner piece, duplicate it and drag it across and then rotate it. And then duplicate this one. This is just for a very boring symmetrical room. If you want to make something better than this, which you probably do, it'll be a lot less duplicating. And the corner again. And then this one, you've got to make sure that 
we always make the front ones only rotate them 180 degrees, don't rotate them 90 degrees, else the um, all the like they won't fit together with other pieces, so you have to use side and front. Not you can't use a front for a side piece. So now that we have this room, it's missing a roof and a floor. So you want the um, NOR RM SM mid 01, which is a floor and a roof piece, which fits nicely right there. Fits perfectly, in fact. And you now have a roof, a floor, everything. But there, of course, isn't a door. So select one, either the front or the side piece, but make sure you know which one it is. So this is a side piece here. I'm going to delete that. And then uh, the X in this, N-O-R, EX is means exit. So you select any piece with X in it. Make sure it has side as well since I deleted the side one. So I'll go wall side X. And that will oops. Uh, that will make that so it's a nice doorway that once again fits perfectly into the rest of the walls and then you can make your door to the outside right there or you can move to SM halls here and grab one of the ones with an X in it so the doors line up Um, I think that's it. You can get quite disorientated in this window if you're not used to it. I've just completely screwed this up now. There we go. And now there's a little hallway with a door in it. And you can add some stairs or whatever. And just yeah, let your imagination uh, guide you, I guess. And then finally, you just want another exit one with a door in it, which will be your door to the outside. Um, that's the wrong one. Don't want that. I want. We can have stairs and an exit, or you can have, I think this is the one I want. No, I want the end exit one. I'm just being picky. And yeah, so now I have a full thing with a room a hallway, some stairs, and then the final exit door. And I'll show you how to do that door and how to connect it to the rest of Skyrim um, in a later tutorial. I'll show you how to put everything into the ruin first. Um, so yeah, um, I'll end this now and the next tutorial will have adding clutter and um, furniture, containers, everything like that. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.